What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time we obtained another pure heart and we defeated the king of the Floral Sapiens, King Crocus. I forgot his name for a second, but we defeated King Crocus and he really surprised me. I wasn't expecting what we fought to be King Crocus, but it turned out that was the king of the Floral Sapiens. Today is the day where we're just going to spend this episode catching up on Team Count Black and Team Mario and then finding the next pure heart pillar. So before we begin, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let's exceed over 1,000 likes. I doubt we'll do it, but prove me wrong. Seriously, prove me wrong. Let's get today's episode to 1,000 likes. And also, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys if you could join one villain in any of the Mario games, who would it be and why? And here's some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is, what is one game that you would like to see me let's play that I haven't yet let's played here on the channel? You know, this is a good way to I guess get suggestions for games that I can play for you all in the future and at the same time I don't have to make a video on it and at the same time I can ask you guys a question in today's episode I'm telling you these questions are so hard to come up with I, ha I have a hard time doing it but I you know I've been doing it since the beginning of this LP I have to stay consistent with it so go ahead and let me know what games you want to see in the future from me and uh, you know that, that that'd be a good way for me to know so anyways raise your chunks in the air as the most uh, debonair man oh men strides into the room no that's not you you're not a, de a debonair a debonair man that's what it is what, what, I think that means charming or something I don't know Josiah can we identify that word please if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, and I don't know my English. Springing forth from his lair as a foes of all despair, for black be the name or their doom. He's singing a song, and I can't even read the words because they don't make sense to me. Whoa, that's our black, blacky, black, blickety boo doo. Yes, I'm like black. That's the guy who says, "Just shut up." I hate their speech in this game. Like, I understand that. As a, a writer for a game, you have an idea for a character and how they, they sound and what you want their dialogue to be, but you can't really read the dialogue properly unless you have that same voice and vision that the writer who wrote the dialogue had. And that's how I feel like uh, with a lot of dialogue in Nintendo games. They make characters just so abnormal and when you read the dialogue it's you're so confused because you don't have the vision that the character who wrote or I guess the, the man who or the guy or the person who wrote the dialogue for had so you're just kind of trying to make your own little you know thing for this guy for all I know this guy can have a deep voice and he can sound Australian I mean I don't know I'm giving him kind of a southern accent sort of and I don't know if he knows how to speak proper English but yeah, that's just my two cents. I hate I hate dialogue from characters in this game. At least not all of them, just most of them. She's fine. What's up, Mimi? I haven't seen you in a minute. Gosh, oh chunks, quit it. You're breaking windows. What are you yelling about? That's what I was saying, dude. Seriously. I'm glad they acknowledge it in this game. Characters will acknowledge how terrible other characters are. Oh that, yeah. I just had old chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. Hey, what's up, Nastasia? How's it going? I haven't seen you in a minute. As and as a punishment for getting beat by that hero again, I'm making him sing it 1,000 times. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. My bad. I'm sorry. I feel like I jumped the gun a little too soon. I didn't know this was happening, but it makes sense now. That's why your tune was so bad. I knew he wasn't that dumb. 1,000, 1,000 times. Hey, that's how many likes we're trying to get on today's episode. See, that's a sign. We should get it to 1,000 likes. Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Who? we're all, everyone in this room is evil. Hey, but enough chatting, so where's the count, huh? I want to see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything, and I'm getting so bored. Hey, count! Is he there? Is he coming? Oh, no, it's not! My destructive little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back in action. Yes, Robot is begging me to take him out. Say the word, and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shelve the robot action plan for now, okay? Dude, we're about to hit chapter 6, and we still haven't gotten Luigi as a companion. This is upsetting, dude. They're making me wait till the very end of the game before I can finally play with Luigi? This is stupid. Ah, uh, the thing is, the Count kind of left specific orders for us to stand by. Got that? So where is Count Black? No way! We're just supposed to wait here for the big mean hero to come get us? So the Count doesn't need my services? Excellent, I'll just be off then. Hey, you have no authority to do that. You go nowhere! We wait. It's the Count's direct orders. His word is absolute. Be a good little minion and do not move until told, okay? Thanks. 
Well, what if he does? I don't think Luigi's kind of like Vegeta. I mean, I guess Mr. L is, but I'm bored. And Brobot craves his daily smash. I can't get loiter here. There's no action. Ah ha ha! Hard to say. Still, when you pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? What's going on, Mimi? Oh, Dementio! Dementio! Everybody just calls out his name. Dementio! The Count's orders are all absolute, completely without exception. Yes, we should even we shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oh, you see, he's giving him a little. He he's insinuating a little something, something without being direct. Oops, he's, I just remembered something really important that I got to do. Back in a jiffy. Bye. And then what? She's gonna leave too. What I'm, t I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. I've got to de deflavorize the robots. Uh, flavorize. Is there? I'll return once everything is up to code. L later, Dementio. All right, peace out, dude. See, he's totally trying to get the count to flip on them. Ah, my, my. Isn't it that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. They're leaving O chunks behind, dude. Wow, that's that's not cool. They could have just. I don't know, man. That's that's messed up. That's messed up. Look, Timpani, um, Tim Timpani. That's the name. I, I'm sure I, I say that because I read a comment and somebody was correcting me on a lot of the names in the game and how I was mispronouncing them. And then now I feel insecure about my pronunciation of this word. So my bad if I'm pronouncing it wrong. The stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe that wishes on stars come true. Oh, is that so? In that case, we'd better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. Hmm. I already got my wish. Now I have everything I need right here. Tim Patty, are you cold? Aren't you cold? No, not at all. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this just a little longer? Man, this is so confusing. I mean, it's not confusing to me anymore, but... I, if I if I didn't know, I would be confusing. Tim, Tippy, Tippy, almost called Tippy Timpani. That that's not cool. Wow! What's the matter, Tippy? You seem a little off or a little out of it there. Was she the one thinking about this? Well, didn't you just hear something? No, we didn't. You're just crazy. No, all right then. It's just that for a second I thought I had to remember something very important. Oh, look at Bowser once again with his crazy arm shaking. Why does he do that, dude? Like, seriously, you're the king of Koopas. He's so mean and vicious, but yet when it comes to little rumbles, he gets so scared and he shakes up so easily. The void, it looks like as though it's gotten bigger. We need to open the door to the next world quickly. Let's hurry. All right, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go open the void. Not the void. We're going to open the door to the next area. So thank you all so much for the suggestions and tips that you guys have been leaving me on these episodes. I know what I'm doing now. Uh, there's actually something that I skipped over that I should have done in the last, like the last time that we were here. So there's a pipe that will take you from the flip side to the flop side. But I didn't do it in the last episode, so we're going to try to figure that out in this episode. Get that pipe that will take me to the flop side, from the flip side, without having to go through the, you know, the the, the long way, I guess. Oh, ho, you're back! Yes, that's me, I'm back. What's up, dog? How's it going, dude? Hi. Have you seen the skies lately? The void continues to grow larger. I imagine that some worlds have already started to decay. I wonder how long our dear flip side will be spared. The light prognosticus doesn't say anything about how long we have. The light prognosticus was only written to counteract the dark one. As such, it's not truly prophetic, so it's hard to say how long we really have. I told you, it's a book written by man. And then I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all. It's because you're a pessimist. Well, we can go, we can only go forward now. We can't just wait for all worlds to end, can we? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Of course, you're right, my dear. I received a message from the normal Noel Rim recently. It seems that someone on the outskirt of Flopside has spotted a hot pillar. And you're not, and you're no doubt seeking that hot, the hot pillar. The next hot pillar, that is a good place to start. I will go back to the light prognosticus to look for clues. Blah, blah, blah. All right, see you later, dude. So now we got to make our way all the way to the flop side, man. This is going to take a long time to get to. That's why I need to find this pipe. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to heal. We always got to see Tinga before, you know, we, uh, every time we come back to the flip side, we got to, we got to take a nap here. It's always the best place to sleep. She has the most comfortable beds. This time, Princess Peach is going to be the one taking and enjoying this nap. Not Mario, not Bowser. I don't know if she would even let Koopas in this. That'd be kind of weird. She'd be discriminating against the Koopas. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Well, on your way then. Thanks. Five coins for a nice rest. That's amazing. Imagine finding a hotel for five bucks a night, dude. I don't doubt anybody would stay 
there. I would be freaked out how cheap it is, man. That I wouldn't even stay there. All right, my boy Mario, we need you. Peach is not one to, you know, get around the flip and flop side. She doesn't know how to maneuver here. So we need a professional guy like Mario. The question is, how do I myself get to the flop side? Um, that's a good question. I actually don't remember anymore. That's why I need the pipe that will take me from the flip side to the flop side. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just try to figure this out because every single Paper Mario game, whenever I come back to the hub areas, I'm always like I'm always stuck like this. Maybe hold on. I'm trying to think. Maybe it wasn't here. Oh man, this sucks, dude. I feel like I'm gonna waste so much time trying to figure this out. But I, the thing is, I, I know what I'm, I'm I know what I'm gonna do once I get there. It's just I don't know how to get there. Okay, it's definitely not this. I don't even think we really explored flip side B one. It's basement one. So there's another basement floor after this. So it's gonna be B2, flip side B2. I wonder what they got hidden down here in B2. Ooh, a save block. I wonder why. I bet you this is where like uh, other heart pillars might be at. So we're not gonna spend time here. This is not where we need to be. We need to, we need to leave this place. We need to go back to the flop side. Did he also tell me to go talk to his uh, Opposite brother, uh, Nor Norlim, Nolrim. I think his name was Nolrim. It's Merlin, but backwards, Nolrim. You know, that's what they say. They say about uh, I, I say they. I don't know if they say, but scientists will talk about uh, what's it called? Not parallel universes. Uh, what's the word for it? Multi universes, multiverses, where infinite universes exist meaning that there are infinite possibilities and outcomes for everything like there's endless limits there's no limitation to anything so there could be a universe where you exist in it okay but you look different a little bit and you have wings and you can fly and that's totally possible it takes things out of you know just the physics of uh of, of just nature and everything like the physics don't apply like the law of like of, all, of the way we live doesn't apply in these multiverses pretty much so this is kind of the vibe that I'm getting when I'm going from flip side to flop side okay I don't know if I'm supposed to be here dude dude this is so confusing to me man wait actually hold on I think I remember I think I remember you know what I figured it out I'm so stupid I'm so silly you guys gotta forgive me it's because I don't play this often I haven't been here that long to recognize so there was actually a wall that we exploded remember that wall uh, is the wall that I need to be going to so it was in fact over here it was it was in this area right here I gotta go down here that wall that we blew up that's where the flop side is that's where we go to get to the flop side so yeah having this pipe for sure would make my journey a lot easier uh, from getting to flip to flop side, you know, it's just it's just instant transmission So let's go all the way to the very end of this area And then I'm sure that we're gonna find the blown up wall. There it is. See that's all it took man I knew it was something like this. Okay, and then we're going this way One, two, three, four. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hurry up Mario. You're gonna let me die. Don't let me die, please and by me, I mean you cuz Ultimately, I'm controlling you right now. All right, we're gonna go through here and then flippity flop. Ah, hold on. Just oh, there you go. Very nice. Flip flop outside. I think this is it. We made it. Is this it? Yeah, flop side first floor. All right, whatever. I'm gonna just take the hit, dude. It's not even worth waiting. Here we are. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, Mario, please, brother boy. Okay, we made it, guys. We took the hit. Let's actually see now. Um, the first thing that I want to do. Is find my boy, uh, Merlon, Norlim, Norlim, Norlim. That's his name, Norlim. <laughs> we gotta find Norlim first, wherever his house is, and that's, I believe, where the guy's gonna be. That's gonna hook us up. Where you at, dude? Norlim, where you at, boy? I don't think he's on this floor actually. He's probably one floor down. Uh, or was it up? I don't know. We'll go down first, and then we'll go up. If he's not down, then he's up. Because where else would he be then? But yeah, this is this is the most confusing part of the game for me. Oh, I don't think it's this. Yep, definitely not this. Yep, 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 yep. This is what flip flop side B1. Yep. Every flip and flop side have the same thing. I'm telling you, dude. It's the same universe. 
Just, they're not aware of it. What if Flopside aren't aware of the flip side? Yo! It's like the same person, but they're just not aware of the other person's existence, you know? Obviously, I don't believe in a multiverse theory, but, you know, it's, it's something that people do believe in. And it's not, like, obviously, you know, you could believe in whatever, but... It just, it makes sense if you think about it, but at the same time, there's no real way to prove- THERE HE IS! That is the boy, that is the man, that is the dude that I was looking for, this guy. So, if I talk to him, he's gonna hook me up. Ah, I am surprised you are finding me. I am called Welderberg. I am an I, I am the Iron Man of the Forging of Pipes. Have you ever thought, ah, it's taking so long to get around town? Yeah, me too. And so it's the life it's my life work to make the pipes for the transportations. I've inspected here, yeah. I am thinking I can make the pipe leading to flip side. What do you think of this? You are covering cost of material and labor, yeah? I can make such a pipe. You are looking not very rich. How is 300 coins? Sure, I'll do it, man. Why not? Wait, what if I said no way? What if he gave me a better deal on it? Ah, this is a good thing. Yeah, I'm getting started. Uh, you are staying out of the way. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Stay out of your way, dog. Look at he was a quick worker. Brrr, drill into the ground, and then boom, bada bing, shalang. Two seconds later, the pipe is made. Yep. See how awesome that is? Very nice. Super quick. The pipe is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You are using it whenever. Yeah. Wise people are always being more efficient. You made the wise decision. Well, I am going. Peace out, dog. That's it, man. And he's gone. He looks like something from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like, just something from an episode that you would see in Courage the Cowardly Dog. So, that's cool. So, anyways, now we gotta find this heart pillar. And the question is, where's this heart pillar, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you guys where this heart pillar is. Obviously, it's gonna be here in the flop side and you know with every uh, new pixel that we get We always actually have to end up using their abilities to to figure out where the next stuff is so Oh Dang it. Well, I took a hit. That's fine. I think if we go this way There's this block as you can see. No, 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 no uh, Now Mario go back. Yeah, I, I'm so confused right now. We're gonna switch into Kudge so we got Kudge we got Dottie, I believe. Well, Kudge we didn't get in Chapter 6. Or 5, I mean. We got Dottie in Chapter 5. Kudge, I think we got him in Chapter 4. Let's see. Down here. This is Flopside Outskirt 1. Okay. So, I think it's gonna be... Ooh. What's up, dogs? Don't mind if I do? Don't mind if I do? Actually, I wonder if Dottie can kill him. Go ahead. Oh, it works, dude! Dottie works! It's literally having the hammer ability. That makes so much sense, dude. Paper Mario isn't Paper Mario unless you can use your hammer in, you know, wherever you are. In the overworld. Actually, that's not true, because I don't think that was an ability in the last two Paper Mario games. I don't remember, actually. I don't remember much about those games, man, but what happened? Nothing. What? Man, that, that, there was nothing there. I probably should have, uh, flipped into the 3D realm figure it out okay well I feel like I'm down too far wait a second maybe not hmm okay let me just go check the end uh okay that's wait, let me do this okay that's obviously a heart pillar that I can't get now but it's good to know that there's a heart pillar there so I think next time we'll come down there and then we'll put the, the next heart pillar over there Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, more enemies. Don't mind if I do. Very nice. Anything else? What? Okay, I am complete. Oh, I see you. You see? There's a... There's... Oh, no! No! There you go. Bring me back. Oh, that was so nice. I was going to be so upset if I literally just ended up falling into a different area without being able to come back. All right, what does this do? I opened up a new area. That's it? What do we get? Did I just find like a secret pixel? No, we got a power plus. All right, cool. So we got that. I don't know what that's going to do, but I'm in, I'm not in the right area. I don't think I am. Okay, let's just get out of here. What is going on, man? This is this is a little confusing. I'm trying to follow instructions, but the, it's not really working out right now. Uh let me see. It's not that, dude. There's no way it's that. Because I can't even climb up there regardless. Even if I use, like, uh, K 
carry, she's not gonna be able to lift me all the way up there. So maybe this isn't even the place. Um, let's just go backwards. I'm gonna go backwards. What's, what does this say? Tira, have you forgotten already? Feeling stumped? Try flipping. Oh! Wow, okay. See, I just had to read the instructions. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Dottie now to shrink through this little area. Ding, 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 ding. We got, we came mini Mario, dude. He is so tiny like that, dude. That is crazy. Hey, what's up, little dude? Time for you to die. This is your last second on Earth. We're on the flop side. Very nice. He dead. All right. Ooh, we did it. We made our way through. Uh, wait, was this the block that I need to bust down? Let's see. Kudge? Can you break this? Yes, you can. And step on the switch. And boom, bada, bing, shalang, my friends. Out comes the, what is it? The heart pillar. Very nice. So, yeah. You know, once again, thank you all for the suggestions and the tips and stuff. Really, it means a lot. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and place this heart pillar here. And with that, we can now access chapter number six. Dude, we are coming close to finishing this game. Like, by the time, uh, actually, by, probably by the end of the month, we'll have this entire game completed, dude. I'm pretty excited. Look at that. Two more chapters. <gasps> Wait, what? Two more doors? What about the eighth? There's no eighth door? I thought there was, like, a total of eight chapters in the game. Or maybe once you collect all the heart pillars, a door will open as a reward for collecting all six heart, seven heart pillars. At the duel of the hundred, the hero uh, will meet with dark powers of purest chaos. If you fall to the hundred, the chaos worlds grow, or the chaos world grows, and the purity of heart fades. Uh, and as that happens, the hero will fall to the world where all games are ended. Who's this? Hey, it's Nolrim. Nor Nor that is the section of the light prognosticus that I just deciphered. De well, I don't know what, what, what he said. Okay, it seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these duels, all worlds will be ruined. And apparently your lives would be lost along with the purity heart. I know that I have just shared... Uh, with you might only serve to, to discourage you. I still must send you forth. However, it saddens me that I can't do nothing else. What's well, all good, man? You're an old kook anyways. I don't expect much from you. He just came to give me the bad news and that's it. Well, here I'm, tell I'm telling you there's no need to fear, bro. Mario is here. I got you, my boy. Okay, why am I doing this? We're going to just uh, use our important things. The return pipe. Hey, I still have the floral sprout. That's nice. And I still got the helmet. That's awesome. So I can go back and visit those chapters whenever I want and use them. But uh, just to clarify, you guys told me there's a couple pixels that I can get as well that are optional. And a couple of things that I should go back and get. I'm not going to do it yet. I'll most likely end up doing it after this upcoming chapter. Uh, I'm, I'm just really upset, you know, that we still haven't gotten Luigi, man. If Luigi doesn't come, you know, I'm probably going to be really mad, dude. If he's not going to be in this chapter, I will be upset, dude. I expect nothing less than Luigi, man. I'm not going to only play with him in one or two chapters. I need him for at least a third or part, a, th a quarter. No, I guess a third of the game. Not a quarter. A third of the game is more reasonable. But we're going to go ahead and save the episode and uh, I guess end it off here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, guys. And also leave your suggestions and tips down in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.